Hello everyone, this is Mark Van de Wettering of the Brainwagon blog. Today I uh, dusted off my little light-based uh, transceiver and I decided to hook it up to one of these Cree LEDs that I got from Deal Extreme. I actually don't know exactly which model this is. I suspect it'll pull about 300 milliamps, but this is the first time I've ever hooked it up to anything, so I'm actually uh, got it set with just the same setup that I did before, which basically is ranging between 0 and 20 milliamps. So, um, let me back out here a bit, and I will turn on the circuit so that you can see how bright this thing is, even with just 20 milliwatts. You can see that it throws out quite a bit of light. Um, it's good enough to, you know, and it's a fairly broad cone as well. You can see it from pretty much every angle, which is kind of neat for this next test, because what I can do is... Uh, I'll pan over here to my, um, you can see that the audio is now going into uh, the circuit and it's modulating the LED current. I've probably actually got it to a tiny bit set low, but I will go ahead and turn this around. Now, I don't know if you can see, but I have a, this copper clad thing. It's actually covering most of the solar cell that I use, and you may be able to actually hear a little bit of the audio even through that. But you can see that this works pretty well. It's really quite loud, and yet, uh, despite the slightly funky music, the fidelity is actually reasonably good. I think I can actually turn up the level of this a little bit, because it doesn't look like it's clipping. Now that's actually clipping very slightly if I look on the oscilloscope. Anyway, so this is with just uh, 20 milliamps. You can actually hear a little bit of buzzing in the background, which is basically coming from the fluorescent lights that I have in my office. I can't quite film this completely in the dark. But uh, this is with the free LEDs. So I was working out what I need to make uh, it actually work. I don't think the little 2N3904 is actually sufficient to drive it at 300 milliamps. That's really close to what the what the thing should dissipate. So I think I'm going to switch it for a, uh, a FET power transistor, IRF510s that I have lying around in great abundance. And uh, that should be enough to make this whole thing work and drive it really brightly. But uh, in the meantime, this has been Mark Van de testing his LED transmitter on the BrainWagon blog. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Mark Van de of the Brainwagon blog. Um, I thought I would just show how I could actually transmit the cro this across my room. Right now the LED isn't bright enough by itself. I've got it hooked up over here, but uh, it's not bright enough to reach the very dimly lit area over on my bookshelf over there. But if I take a lens and I get it focused, and then let's see if I can get this all copacetic. So that's just me holding a lens to roughly collimate it. So the lens I'm using is just a magnifying lens. This one actually used to go on my uh, on my uh, little, uh, what do you call those, third-hand uh, vicey thing that I keep on my desktop. So, in spite of the fact that that's pretty crude as far as optics go, I'm paying more attention to my LOLs and TTYLs than to this It's got plenty of gain over this kind of distance. Then here you come up from In fact, it's almost too much. You see me too late? You see it's completely gone here. Anyway, it's just an experiment. Hope you enjoyed it. Mark Van Wettering of the Brainwagon Blog.